This is Dave Daly with KaiserTV.com. Logo's going there. We are with the infamous Chip Conrad, everybody, here at the Reed Opera House. It's the second Salem Tech Lunch, and uh, Chip, for audiences, you organized the mid Walnut Valley of tech companies to come and have a discussion today, and uh, how, how did it go? I think it went great. It was our second um, rendition of this. The first, I thought we'd, I was really hoping for 20 people and we did, we hit 100. And the second one of these, I was really hoping for 150 people and we, we got 111. So we're evening out. You know, uh, technology is a big discussion in these streets. We've got, uh, globally, we've got Amazon coming now out to our uh, region. What are you hearing kind of of tech interest in opening and growing jobs here? Uh, well, I'm hearing a lot from the tech companies that exist here and that have put a lot of time in Salem and held on and believed that Salem could be a great place to grow a tech company. And I think they're ready to really push over that precipice and see that growth happen quickly. Yeah, and for all of us out in Kaiser, I know there were Kaiser registers, registrants who came to the meeting today, and mm -hmm. it's kind of a Whole Valley discussion, is it well, not? We had Kaiser, we had Portland, we had uh, Salem, we had Corvallis, e Eugene. Um, it was, it, we really did get the whole valley. Wow, and we also interviewed a student who was here today. So you're not only reaching to companies, you're trying to foster these discussions with students, a female student we interviewed. Why is it so important that we get these kids connected to technology in the workplace? Well, that's, I mean, that is a, that's a really long answer. Um, the heart of it for me is that kids, young people, can find what they're good at earlier in life and not waste time and tuition uh, getting to that place. Um, and I know that there are a lot of kids out there struggling through a traditional school that might do way better uh, once they get into the tech realm with yeah. coding and developing, developing uh, engineering. Um, and so for me, the heart of it is that I want to see kids uh, do things that in increase their self-esteem. Yeah. So Chip, who do you want to say thank you to for having this tech conference here today? Uh, well, PH Tech, uh, a large tech company here in Salem, uh, uh, wrote a large tech to make this happen. Same with um, BookBite. Um, we also had some government uh, uh, and uh, nonprofit um, agencies here with the city of Salem was here uh, to support and the Chamber of Commerce as well. Well, fantastic. And your co-working space is also a big instigator of this right here in the Reed Opera House uh, of businesses that may not want to take on an entire space of lease, but they can lease an office or multiple offices from you, correct? Or, or are you maxed out right now? We are maxed out right now. Uh, we're full of people who can uh, work from home or a coffee shop and don't want to. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the really the only thing that runs consistent through all of them because we have um, realtors, we have CPAs, we have startup solopreneurs, um, we have people in the cannabis industry, we have uh, marketers, designers, I mean it's across the board, but the one thing they all share is they can work from wherever they want, but want to work around a vibrant uh, community of builders. Yeah. And you'll have another uh, luncheon coming up. Uh, where would we go to learn about how our audiences can register for that? Uh, you, you would just have to do a search on Eventbrite for Salem Tech Lunch. Okay. Uh, it's going to happen on um, uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, at noon here at the Reed Opera House. All right. Well, thank you for all you do, Chip, behind the scenes. You look like you have fun. Right. Oh, yeah. But uh, we know behind the scenes you've got a lot of people behind this momentum. And you may not hear it enough, but we notice it around this great community of your efforts you're making. We're going to say thank you for that. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. It's a team effort, though. All right. And uh, for more great stories here in Kaiser, visit kaisertv.com. Thank you.